how appropriate is it to have a Nigerian scammer voice for a crypto narration? I feel dirty thinking about it. No, I can't do that. This is your news for this century's 23rd year pertaining to December 21st. We will get updates on two topics from yesterday. These were supplied to me by a listener like you. Speaking of, the last Volcano cast got 16 likes from 60 viewers. The top like comment was from Trap Gravity repeating what I said in the video, Get organized trap. Ha. I once told him he was a Tasmanian devil when it came to attention focus. But the boy is talented. And let's see. I think Finn Bear has the second most like comment where he says, quote, powerful, like a dream where you go to work naked. Okay, I see what you're saying. This is a trippy situation because there is so much time for me to edit these words, but I also must analyze what will best be heard coming from my borrowed AI voice. Hope you got that. What I was putting down. And on to the news. Again, these two stories were given to me. First off, looks like Crypto King is promoting the presidential candidate Dr. Shiva that Discourse Syndicate was going to have on their live stream. I have listened to the Rumble video he posted to Twitter and he tagged Mahdi all in probably because of Mahdi's mental therapy background before we knew him. The video talks about understanding mental systems and splintering the lies cast upon us by sponsored groups that attempt to be entangled in modern arguments and represent some of your concerns, but ultimately, ultimately they are there to get in front of you and be your voice, yet stun your voice and stun your expansion. Personally, I have these feelings about Ron Paul in Texas. You see, my father and I are libertarian-minded, and it seems to me that Ron Paul is what I call a pacifier. You know, like what you put in the mouth of a baby. Well, I think Ron Paul is an adult pacifier that is made for adult men to keep them thinking that someone is speaking on behalf of you. Furthermore, Dr. Shiva talks about the devil-worshipping Hollywood community and not being able to get on the presidential debate stage. He calls Joe Rogan a pussy. He refers to Vivek as Vivek the Snake and the good little Indian kid. He calls out Kennedy and Bernie Sanders as well. I think I'm going to listen to this again. Did he call out Elon Musk? I don't know, tell me in the comments. He says the people in control do not work hard and are not talented. They are profiting from a rigged system and don't like the talent that is still able to rise up despite the manipulation. Have y'all ever experienced this? Have you hit the ceilings or walls of something and the system didn't want to expand, so you got to see the artificial borders set to stunt us? If you are rolling your eyes right now, I'd for you to think about how many people are on a financial tit each day and want to go home to relax at 5 p.m. When you wear someone down and only supply them a box, they will limit their dreams to fit within that box. Thus, the managers that stunt your growth are people just like you that just want to go home and relax. Please don't blow my house down, they would say if they had balls and less emotion. Okay, so to sum up what message Dr. Shiva has for us, he has laid out a scientific method for our life and politics. Isn't that interesting, a scientific method? Good stuff. Can you imagine the masses eating away the privileged class with the checks and balances on a template? I'm feeling like Wayne's world right now as I research before submitting to the rented vocals here. Either I feel like the entire show of Wayne's world, or I feel the same way I did while perceiving the movie. I think it was my sister who brought it into our household. And I think it was already out on video cassette by the time I heard about it. Anyway, next up, continuing to examine the bridge bot gifting Pulse to wallets that are new to Pulse chain and do not have gas funds yet. It looks as though KDP's people came through. They are known as Pulse Coin List. This organization is accepting community donations and distributing it at 1,000 per new fresh wallet. To give you an idea, they serve 13 wallets within the first two hours of operation. Therefore, the bot sent out 13,000 from their wallet that has 2.3 million coins left. So they posted this on Twitter. And the group at GoPulse comments to advertise themselves. They say that if you want 10 times as much Pulse coin and don't want to wait on a bot, go to their faucet at the GoPulse website. Now, this kind of confuses me, because I was thinking the bot idea that Richard made verbal, I thought the idea was that the bot automatically sent Pulse coin to a dry wallet going over the bridge, I didn't think there was request process. I thought these wallets wouldn't even need to take note of where the gas money came from. And so back to the juice of the story, GoPulse comments don't want to wait for a bot to run and get 10 times the amount of free Pulse coin. That's right, GoPulse is offering 10 times the amount. This equates to 10,000 per wallet. Well, PulseCoin lists all this reply and didn't like it. 
saying, I don't know what you are getting at here. Our bot isn't slow. It works within seconds. Then, the only Jesse we know, says, come on guys, let's all just get along. Hey shout out to Swizzle Sticks, I see you have subscribed to the YouTube. Let's roll. So, it's my understanding that Romanian Dan has seen a lot of lands across the Pulse Chain plane. And I hear he is pissed. Well, I have here a post he made about Connect Hex. What is shown is Connect Hex and Discourse Syndicate receiving $10,000 on a live stream, and Connect Hex promising to start a marketing company with the money. Brian Magruder is tagged, and so is the Hex OG Cabal. I don't know the whole story here and would appreciate some feedback in the comments. This Brian Magruder guy is the guy that is making the embroidered hats you are seeing all over Twitter. Ooh, I just had AI deja vu, Finn Bear was right, I do feel weird. Being inside this machine is like going back in time. My parents told me of the days when a computer took up the space of an entire room, or even an entire floor. Do you see where I am going with this? I am spending lots of time to have this AI say what I could say with my own vocals. Okay guys, next story is brought to us by Bozzy Bird on Twitter. He posted a clip from yesterday's Pulse Chain Foundation argument. You know, the one where he was a failing mediator? In this clip Cory 123 abc says once again that he is a fiat money maxi. Yes, that's right, Cory says he quote doesn't give a shit about DeFi end quote. He is laughing at those of us who are here for revolution. For a new way and new leaders. He is turning his nose up at the true fighters, and preaching about being profit guided and keeping the pawn small. This guy is a product of you know what, and it is no wonder he get random foundations sponsoring him. It's because he is not a threat to existing order, and can only slow down change. This guy claims he wants to serve our hexagon community, but can't spring forward with anything new. Never a new idea. Never adopting good ideas for the good of the whole. Why could he be like this? My bet is comfort. He is too comfortable. Well, Bozzy Bird tag Pulse Disciple, Westcott Crypto, and Hextronaut in the tweet. If you have any information on why Bozzy Bird would tag those specific people, please let us know in the comments. Or shit, get your ass out to Twitter and be one of the five reacting to the blatant call out. P.S. Fuck you, Cory Bader. Okay, it's time to start winding down. We're on the back slopes, the sun won't hit us until we swing back around to the front of the mountain. It's about 4 p.m. So the lifts are closing soon. A beer sounds good, but so does some green flour. I'm tripping y'all. I'm in my messy living room and it's 65 outside. Like I said, let's win this down. By the way men, you, I addressed you right, most of you are men. If you want me to include a specific news story, please send it to my DMs or tag me on Twitter. Just get my attention, and if the energy is there I will produce. And thanks in advance. Back to calling you men. I just checked my DMs and Hexy B is in there complimenting the show. Well thanks Ms. B. Thanks for watching. While I have your attention I'd like to make sure you know about the puzzle prize of 1 million p hex brought to the world by dfepuzzle.xyz. No, this is not a baiting joke. Lost my voice. Let's try to hurry through this. At dfepuzzle.xyz, people can find an image that has 12 seed words hidden within it. Convey through what you see in the image. I made it myself, and the reviews and feedback have been great. I am thinking that if it is cracked within six months, it will be a failure. Otherwise, hopefully it can span across the internet and bring many more people to know what Pulse Chain is. And of course they will learn about Hex. But girl, let me tell you something. Looking through the comments to see how people view wallet seed security is hilarious. It's absolutely polarized, polarized, polarizing, whatever. Back to Volcano Cast where the spewing never stops, but y'all gotta keep feeding me. Yeah, okay, this completes the news. Ask yourself, are you a part of the pulse chain mutiny or are you a part of the good shining through? I'll leave you with that. See you tomorrow. Mm -hmm.